Well, we love so much that The Beacon is our sponsor for Furry Friend Friday. Steve Young has got a huge heart. We love you so much. The Beacon, let's get a little history, because we have a lot of new people mm -hmm. that have moved into our area. Right. The Beacon has been around since 1946, a staple in Spartan. Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. The secret is out. If the people are migrating to this area because it's the place to be. But I don't care if you drive by and visit or if you move here. You still haven't been to Spartanburg unless you come to the Beacon Drive-In. I mean, I remember when, you know, CBS, like the big news station came out. Mm -hmm. and, then the, and the, Charles Corral yes. was his name. See, I'm showing my age. But I mean, that was like a big deal. Like, that's how you're like, oh, we're, we're, we're legit. We're yeah. on the national that's news. Absolutely. There was only one John White and this was opened by Mr. White in 1946, and he was a military man, and you know he went through those times, right. you know, times when people didn't have a lot. Yeah. So when he opened the beacon, his thought was give to the people. A plante was born, and so that survived through the years, and that's still our mindset: give to the community where you can give to the community. We're on, uh, well, we support the downtown soup kitchen pretty, right. pretty regularly. I'm on the board of a organization named CFAT, it's local, but yeah. uh, it's just some, some organizations that do good for the community. Well, I love it too, and since now, I know you were not here in 1946, obviously, <laughs> but we've seen a lot of changes. What, what are yes. some of the, you know, changes? Yeah. Well, you know, speaking for the beacon, I mean, I, it's kind of, if they ain't broke, don't fix it. hundred uh, percent. And uh, I've, I've just never worked in a place that's had so little change while the world around you just changes. But you know, some things are forced on you. I mean, we do now delivery, do DoorDash, right. Hub City, Grubhub, et cetera, and so on. So, you know, we take credit cards and, and tap pay and some things uh -huh. that Mr. White never even thought of. You People know, but are like, they, wait, you don't have to pay cash anymore? <laughs> yeah, like, that's yeah. a Cash, yeah. what is cash? Like cash <laughs> that's right. So we've had to evolve with some things, but we've kept our identity. And a plenty is still in a plenty. Uh, we've got a lot of the same long-term employees. We feel just as passionate about our employees as Mr. White always did. Yeah. It's our job just to kind of keep the legacy going. Uh, I can take no credit for what has been built, but I feel a big responsibility carrying the, the thing <laughs> forward. Yes, do, doing the best I can. Here's something cool, too. You notice he's all day now in his Spartanburgers attire because we're super excited about the baseball team coming to Spartanburg. Tell us about how where you're located. Oh, yeah, we're, we're on the uh, we're the gateway to the Hub City Spartanburgers. I, I don't care what part of this country you're in, GPS is going to bring you down John White Boulevard, and you're going to take a right on to Daniel Morgan, which is going to be renamed, if I had anything to do with it, Hub City Lane. And uh, it's going to take you just three quarters of a mile right now to the ball field. And we are excited for the, uh, we are going to be avid supporters of the uh, Spartan Burgers. I love it, and I love it that it's the gateway leading into it, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. So thank you so much, Steve.